What is up, you fine and fabulous people? My name is Frozen Dren here, as always, bringing you back more of Pokemon Let's Play Fire Red Nuzlocke. Last time we took down, we entered Celadon City. We well, we actually entered Celadon City episode four of that. However, we did take down the Celadon City gym leader, Erica, as well as discovered a secret little hiding spot here in the game corner. The casino has a secret entrance to a rocket base, which we will be exploring today. Because there's some serious Team Rocket presence in this town, and I'm not too, uh, I'm not too fond of seeing the rockets in my town. However, before we get started, I want to go ahead and show off that I do not actually have uh, Yif the Growlithe added yet, because this is actually being recorded right before I upload the episode where I ask you guys whether or not I should add Yif. Therefore, I have not gotten any responses yet, so I will uh, determine that for the next episode. So, for now, we're just going to keep on moving through and progressing as per, us as per us usual. You broke into Team Rocket's operation. What nerve! What nerve. It's like it's a... It's like you're a child who doesn't know any better. It's like you're playing a cop. Where are all the cops in this world? We've seen a single police officer in a single town in this world. No other police. There is literally no presence of government anywhere in this world. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean... I brought it up before, but I'm kind of interested in how the economics of the Pokemon world work. Like, do we have... Like, what kind of political, uh... What kind of political rule do you think the Pokemon world has? Like a... Like a democracy, maybe? A dictatorship? Maybe the Pokemon champion is the dictator? Maybe that's how it is! Maybe that's why you have to, like, fight your way up to be the Pokemon champion. Because then you are the ruler of that nation, perhaps. You are the single most recognized person in the nation, so I mean, potentially. Possibly. Maybe you live in an oligarchy. Or a plutocracy. I don't know. Maybe it's an autocracy. Monarchy? I don't know. There's a lot of words that could be used to define different forms of government. And I don't really know which one would define the Pokemon world. I guess that's just up to us to decide. We have to figure it out, guys. We're on a quest. We are on a quest for a reason right now, okay? And it's clearly not to stop Team Rocket. Team Rocket's just after money. They don't want to rule the world. They just want to be rich as hell. That's all they want. They are here to turn a profit. In all honesty, Giovanni's just a really damn good businessman who has a little bit of some underhanded means. And, I mean, realistically, most government, I mean, most businesses do have underhanded means that they use to achieve their riches, so we can't necessarily knock Giovanni for that. And, uh... <coughs> uh drowsy! Drowsy! Have we encountered Drowsy before? I think we have. I think we have. So there's nothing really to say. Drowsy scares the hell out of me. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, Drowsy's design is kind of terrifying. When I was a kid, it used to just really, like, disturb me. Because it's, like, it's so creepy. Look at it. It's just like, ah. It's a, I think it's a taper, I think is what it is. It's a taper. I don't know why I don't run. Like, I never run! I never use the run button, and I don't know why. Am I supposed to go? I gotta go down, that's right. I gotta go down. I'm just taking out all these Team Rockets, and I don't even realize, like, where I'm going. Boss, and you can see ghosts with the Silph Scope! I guess I know where the Silph Scope is. It's with whoever this boss person is, except I already said the name of the boss, so I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of me trying to be, uh... Me trying to be, like, ambiguous with it. Oh my god, he's got five Pokémon?! Jesus, dude! Like, why? Can't you just be like a regular grunt that has like half a Pokemon? Like, not even a full Pokemon. You've got like a Zubat's wing. That's all you got. That's all you really... And he had a fucking Raticate. Thank God he didn't use like... What's that one move that keeps killing me? Hyper Fang? Hyper Fang is a bad move to get. Also, I, uh... I stocked up on Lemonade. <laughs> So I've got enough lemonade to last me through the rest of this game now. Uh, well, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, abuse the hell out of game mechanics and get a shit ton of really cheap, really useful healing items. I really should just start using the run button, but god damn it. I keep forgetting it even exists. I'm just, ah, this puzzle, man. This puzzle is, uh, it's not difficult. But it kind of used to throw me off as a kid. I mean, I was not the smartest of children. 
I was not, and uh, doesn't help that I didn't think things through and I just kind of like pushed buttons and hoped that everything would work. But nowadays, look at this! I solved it on the first go. Oh ho ho. I feel... I feel like I'm more proud of myself for that than I should be. <laughs> like, I should not be like happy that I did that. I should just be like, yes, that is a thing that everyone can do very easily. Congratulations. Instead, I'm like, yeah, I did it! What you got, man? That's like two points for me! Zero for the game. Let me just... I hate these, like, these rockets, man, but I need the XP! Oh, he did use a... He did straight up use Hyper Fang, but just did nothing to me, because I got such good defenses. You can't, like, fucking have a rat bite a snake. It just doesn't work that way, man. Like, you're trying to reverse the process here. I mean, I can sit here and bite you, though. Let's just go ahead and finish this fight. I don't even like these guys. Like, I just want to get through this place. I don't like... I don't know. Like, that puzzle. That's basically the longest part of this dungeon. I think. Like, I don't think there's that much to this place. Our goal here is basically just to get to the silk scope so we can clear Lavender Tower. I think... Is Lavender Tower optional? I think Lavender Tower... <laughs> it's a telephone! Better not use it. Wouldn't want to have any kind of conversations and such. That would involve talking to people and, well, you know how I am about that. I just don't like that. Intruder alert! Oh no. How did you know there was an intruder? Where is he? Where is she? Where is it? I guess it's right in front of you getting ready to bite your sludge. What was I talking about before? What was I talking about? Oh right, is Lavender Tower optional? Um, I think it is. Like, it might be. No, no it's not, because you need to clear Lavender Tower to get Mount... to get, uh, Mount Fuji, to get Mr. Fuji. Because he gives you the Pokey Flute, I believe. So I'm pretty sure you've got to go through that for that. And you've also got to just eliminate the Team Rocket presence, which is there. So I don't think... like, yeah, I don't know, there's a... There's a this game is kind of interesting because you can... I wouldn't say there's very much that's optional to do. I mean, there is quite a bit that's optional to do, like, post-game in this game, but I mean, like, it, as far as the course of the story is concerned, there's not necessarily too much. What the hell am I going? Like, hold on. Where the hell am I... Was this place optional? Okay, I understand take the elevator, but can I take the elevator? I don't think I have the key for that. Oh, I can! Can I? No, I don't. Fuck. Okay. So... What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, I need a better memory! I wish I was like a computer and you could just upgrade my memory whenever you choose. That'd be so much more convenient. Where do I want to go from here? Uh, I think I want to go here. And then perhaps I would like to go here! And then here, maybe? Yeah, cool. Managed to get this thing. It wasn't really worth it. Um, maybe I'm just in the wrong area? I don't know. Maybe I just just like... Oh god! It's happening again! It's begun. And so the Trail of Tears begins once more. <laughs> that was fucked up. Uh, I don't think it's quite anywhere near as bad as that, but... We got word from upstairs that you were coming! Team Rocket Grunts, they're talking about time. What was I talking Okay, so... I was talking about optional stuff in this game. This game, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, definitely has, like, these Sevy Islands after game, which is... Op which is definitely, that's definitely optional. That's... That was added in after the fact. But... Like... It's kind of interesting, because you can actually do, um, the 5th and 6th gyms, you can kind of do whichever one before the other that you want. Like, you could go straight to Sabrina and fight Sabrina before fighting Koga, or vice versa, you could go and fight Koga before you fight Sabrina. And I believe in this, I believe in Fire Red Leaf Green, I don't know if it's the same in, uh, the original Red and Blue, but I know that in Fire Red and Leaf Green, I think that they actually have the same, like, levels of Pokemon. So, I think that you can actually, um, I think they made it that way because they realized that 
people were doing them in whatever order they just happened to encounter them. And some people would fight, you know, Sabrina first and be like, Oh god, Sabrina's fucking hard! Psychic types are kind of a dick. And Koga's like, Ha ha, I am poison type, ha ha! And people were just kind of like, Okay, let's take out Koga first, because that's a much easier type to deal with. I think poison's weak against... Ground... And Psychic. Is that it? I think that's it. Resistant to grass. Maybe it's super effective against grass. I don't know. I think it's super effective against grass. I don't know much about poison type. It's really like the type I probably know the least about aside from fairy. I think fairy's actually like, I found this out. I think fairy's actually like. It does less damage against fire types. Like fire type resists fairy. That's just kind of weird to me. Like that, I don't know. That's strange and shocking to me. It means that Charizard X is actually neutral to, uh to fairy damage. Or I could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. Could be that fairy resists fire. I just know there's some kind of resistance involving fire involved in the fairy types. And that's all I know. Not particularly interested in really learning it right this moment because I'm too busy using Goni to kill some Raticates and uh, sweeping it up. Goni is the one true Raticate, okay? The one Raticate to rule them all here, okay? We gotta do this. Gotta take. Fuck it. Look at this. Okay, look at this thing. Stop for a moment. Whatever you're doing, stop eating your Cheerios. Look at this motherfucker. Is that not disturbing in some way? I think it is. I think it is. It's pretty creepy. Especially like if you read the, uh, if you read like its Pokédex entries, it's creepy as hell. Like him and Hypno, man. Like. They lure children away, and it's just like, oh my god. It's like some nightmare fuel with these things. And then you see some, like, fan art online of these things, which are just horrifically, like, realistic, and it's like, oh, this is exactly why I don't like this thing. It's exactly why I don't like Drowsy and Hypno. Is that the... that's not it. Okay, I think if we beat this guy, we get the lift key. Yeah, okay. Who has the lift key? Well, gee, boss, I wonder who has it. Let's find out. Critical hit. Okay, you've probably got it. You got a Zubat? I'm not too concerned about this fucking Zubat survive. Are you serious? Oh, oh no, I dropped the lift key. <laughs> I just love, like, the idea that he can't, like, pick it back up or anything. He's just like, oh no, I just threw it on the ground here. Better hope no one picks it up and goes to defeat the boss. Cause then who'd be boss? Probably wouldn't be me. I just used a fucking lemonade on Goni. He had like 6 HP that he was missing. He just healed 80. Good job, me. Just trying to heal Shakurla. Fucking- I keep getting Goni and uh... Shakurla's genders mixed up. Like Goni's- Goni is a uh... Is a chick. And Shakurla as a dude, and that is like, throwing me off, it just keeps throwing me off, and it's never gonna stop, it's never, it's never gonna stop, I know it won't, nonetheless, we got the lift key now, so we can come, oh shit, that's not where we want, we want to go back here, so we can go through this puzzle once more, this puzzle can probably be done in like 10 seconds though, like, realistically, it's not a difficult puzzle, I just need to be careful not to make too many mistakes. Because it's actually, I don't know, it's so forgiving. I mean, it's a kid's game. You can't really expect too much out of it. I kind of wish they did a little bit more with this stuff. Like, I don't know. I wish they did less with it, but I wish they did more with it. Like, it's hard to explain. I kind of like, I feel like they could have made it more difficult, but at the same time, more fair. Maybe I should actually try explaining what I'm talking about. I feel like they should have had like a section where, um, if they were really going to do that puzzle, there's no point to it the way it is. Like, it's not difficult, there's no like, there's no punishment for failing it aside from just having to redo it. Like, you don't end up going and you walk the wrong way, so, oh no, now you've got to battle a trainer. No, it's like, you go the wrong way and then you're like, well, I guess I've got to start over again. That's just about five minutes out of my time wasted. It's not fun. So they could have either thrown in some trainers or something in there just to be like, here's an actual punishment for this. Or they could have made it a little bit longer and just a little bit more like requiring thought, but 
Oh, it just feels like it's a puzzle that was just thrown in there just because they're like, We need a puzzle! Because this dungeon's too for short otherwise. This dude's got a freaking sand slash! Oh my lord, look at this thing! I love sand slash, like, oh, sand slash is so cool. Such a cool Pokemon. Look at this thing, man, it is such a beast! Ah, I wish I could have one, but like, you can't even catch Sandshrew and Fire Red, and that bothers me so much. The like, version exclusivity always kind of bothered me, because I would always pick like the version I'd always get one of the versions of the games, and then I'd find out later what was on the other version, I'd be like, that was so much better, I could've gotten that. I'm pretty sure, actually, that Fire Red has Ekans in place of Sandshrew. So instead of having Shakurla right now, we could have the Sandslash. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset, I like Shakurla. Love Shakurla! Shakurla's my bae, my baby. Oh wait, shit, it's a guy. This is my bro! Shakurla's my bro! My homie! My home doggy. But nonetheless, a sand slash would have been pretty badass to have. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? You know, sometimes I just like... Sometimes I question these guys, like... I feel like some of these guys got into this business for the wrong reasons, you know what I mean? Like, some of them, they got a good head on their shoulders. They're like, money, currency, yes, I would like that. Others are like, evil, evil. They just they don't, I don't feel like they belong in this organization. I feel like we need to have a nice, clean discussion with the boss here. We need to sit him down, talk about, go over some business details, you know, talk about our incomes, our outcomes, <laughs> our finances, our expenditure, you know, go over all the important details. Perhaps we need to start talking about downsizing a little bit, you know, get rid of some of these, like, more useless guys. You know, some of these guys are just packed, like, Zubats upon Zubats upon Zubats. They're not necessary in our organization. We need to rebuild this from the ground up. And this is why Team Rocket should have accepted me. Because I got ideas. I'm an idea man. I can think. We got this in our heads, you know? But they don't see that. They see the small picture. I'm looking at the big picture here. I mean, if your organization can be stopped by a single ten-year-old girl walking around with a fucking rat, odds are your organization's not very well stable. That said, when your snake fucking paralyzes my rat, I'm gonna get a little upset, Arbok. What are you doing, man? You don't do that to Goni. Goni does not appreciate that. God damn it, Goni! You're supposed to hit and prove me right. Thank you, Goni. Doing a better job now. Goni got 724 experience points. Woo! Probably could have sped that battle up, but oh well. And look at him! The big boss himself. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit. Just I don't, Do I have any paralyzed heals? I may not have any paralyzed heals. Oh, I don't have any paralyzed heals. Well, okay then, what that means to me is that I'm gonna go ahead and- actually, I'm not gonna use- I'm gonna use a fresh water. I'm gonna use a fresh water. I'm gonna pop that down into my, uh, my goni's mouth. My mouth hole. Feed it some water. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm about to sweep- sweep this boss under the rug. Using our good ol', uh, good ol' Armando. So, I should probably give him, like, some kind of voice, shouldn't I? What kind of voice does, like, Giovanni have? So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. No, fuck that voice. So, I must say I'm impressed you got here, see? Team Rocket captured Pokemon from around the world, see? They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni, see? For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain, see? <laughs> oh, that is, that is not a good voice for him, but nonetheless, it is what he is stuck with. It's not his fault he was born with a voice like that. It's unfortunate, but he's gotta live with it. But he wears that shit like a badge of honor. Unfortunately, his Pokemon, he did have a choice in those, and I'm not gonna be nearly as lenient with his choice of Pokemon. He's like all ground rock type. I think he has a Kangaskhan though, so that could probably be some trouble. But I mean, nonetheless, this guy's like not even as hard as the gym leader. Like he's not even as difficult as the gym leader. But again, I think it comes down to like you could be, you could either come here before the gym leader, or you could come here after the gym leader. So 
You might actually be expected to come here before the gym leader, if I'm not mistaken, but... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Be Good for this, because I just want this guy to really understand that he needs to rethink his organization. Because I'm taking this thing down. This dude is going down because of one, a 10-year-old girl. Two, a plant monster that's the size of my ankles. And three, a fucking bee. A fucking bee is taking down his giant kangaroo. I mean, don't get me wrong, those African bees, they can be pretty dangerous, but we're not even from Africa. We're from America. Oh, no! No! What? That wasn't even super effective. What? Be good. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Oh, man. Fucking spark. Oh, be good. What did it even use? I didn't even see what it attacked us with. What? This can't be, see? Fuck, dude. I was doing so well, too. I see that you raise your Pokemon with the utmost care, see? A child like you would never help understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Marrr! Obtain the self scope. But alas, our heart remains empty and cold. What do you have to say? I'm sorry I failed you! Yeah, I do have something against Team Rocky. You killed my fucking Beedrill! My Beedrill's dead because of you! I did not choose this life. This life chose me. This- Oh my god! Are you really gonna do this to me right now? I'm not even gonna like- I'm not even gonna put up with you right now. I'm just not even going to. Oh my god, and I can't even damage it because it's poison type. Switch over to Voltaire. Voltaire can handle this. Yeah, Voltaire's got this shit. I can't believe it! Oh, I should have been more careful. But, like, I didn't think that it would one-shot me no matter what. But then it gets a fucking crit! It got a fucking crit! Oh! That damn Kangas can. <sighs> Go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, but... You know, not, but not our B-Good. Not B-Good, because it's a fucking Nuzlocke. Can't revive things, you know. But oh well. Let's go ahead and put a... <sighs> Let's put B-Good away. B-Good. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright, time for our, uh... Our annual death recap, then. God damn it. First off, our first loss was Gonzalez the Ratata, who was caught before his time on ra Route 2. Rat 2. <laughs> he was caught on Route 2 after we had already caught something on Route 2, therefore we had to throw him in the death box. Happy the Metapod died during him, we're not even gonna brush over that. Echo! Died to... Died to Clark. He died to Clark. She died to Clark, sorry. She had a chance to be something, but she never got to experience her true potential. Jacklet and Figaro, 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 both experienced a tragic end at the hands of our Clark rematch. Hoping to avenge Echo, and we ended up losing two partners instead of a single one. We doubled our losses, and it was incredibly tragic. And now, joining the dead, the dead and deceased, be good. Or Beedrill. Lost in the hands of Giovanni. That damn Team Rocket! <sighs> I guess we'll have to continue on some other time. So. Uh, man. I guess that's gonna end it off here then. We got the Silph Scope and next time we'll head to, uh, we'll head to Lavender Town, guys. So I'm probably gonna do some grinding and party reworking for the next episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you enjoyed, and it really does help me out, and I will see you guys in Lavender Town. See ya.